Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we are looking at the Amprob 30XRA, a tool made for professionals um, who know what they're doing. It's not a true RMS because mostly you're going to be dealing with the mains voltage and you won't find capacitance or frequency measurements, but it does have a dedicated a battery tester for one and a half and nine volts. It has the volt tech feature, manual range selection, and a few thoughtful design touches that make your life easier. So this multimeter is made by Beha Amprob, not just Amprob, which sounds like a classic merger between two companies joining forces to build better test equipment to give to their customers and to grow their market. Uh, well, this is where uh, I fell down to the rabbit hole because it's not 100% true. Anyways, Amprob began in Long Island, New York under the name Pyramid Instrument Company. They pioneered the first inductive clamp meter called the Amp Probe a probe for current measurements. The tool was such a success that by the 1960s, they rebranded uh, their company as Amprobe. That's correct. In 2006, Amprobe was acquired by Fluke, which was then owned by Danaher Corporation. Well, another name of a company, right? Well, Danaher is a massive American umbrella company uh, that until 2016 they owned a wide range of precision instrument brands including Fluke um, which was acquired into, in 1998. Now in 2016 Danner spun off several subsidiaries including Fluke into a new company called Forti. So where does Beha come from? Well, it comes from Germany. It is founded in Germany by Christian Beha in 1974. And Beha was known for its rugged industrial grade meters. By 1991, they had an ISO certification for their Irish production sites. In 1992, they launched a successful installation tester, moved some of the production to China, and in uh, 2003, they were acquired by Fluke. Fluke, yes. So Beha and Amprob were both part of Fluke, which was owned by Danahar until 2016 and now belongs to Fortif. Everything is explained. <laughs> but <laughs> actually there is a twist. Amprob still operates as a separate brand in the United States, while Beha Amprob is the branding used in Europe. And when you call Amprob support, you might be talking to someone from Fluke. It is the same product family, just branded differently from different markets. Oh, and guess where it is made in? Taiwan. <laughs> okay. So, as mentioned, this one is for the professionals like the HVAC technicians and the residential electricians. It is rated 300 volts cut 3 and 600 volts cut 2. On the top, we have a 3.5 digit 1999 count display. There are three function buttons and an LED indicator for the voltage detection, non-contact voltage detection. In the middle, a large red dial. So at the bottom, we have the terminals. Unlike most meters, the current uh, terminals here are in yellow, not red. So you're less likely to connect the probes to the wrong input. But if you do, look so what happens. So connecting it to the voltage, measuring voltage, then I want to measure the current and I forgot to switch to the... Oh no! An internal alarm warns you to double check your setup. Size-wise, it's not the most compact unit in the block, but it is a classic American bulk with rugged holster and uh, a magnetic strap, which is also called the magnet grip, included in the box. On the back, we have the probe holders and a sturdy stand with this hook. Oh my God, this locking hook is great. Um, it runs on a nine volt battery, uh, which is easily accessed by removing two screws. And uh, also the, you can have access to the fuses. In the box, you get some re registration leaflet for product updates and promotion. Uh, think safety information and uh, notice whatever and a user manual also included is a solid set of probes they are rated for 600 volts cut 4 and 1000 volts cut 3 inside you have an 
18 gauge wire and the tips have a clever threaded design. The caps screw on with a metal threaded embedded in the plastic, which is a very, another very nice detailed unprobe like this. Like this look. So now let's make some measurements. The Voltec feature detects AC voltage starting at 70 volts. And yes, the sound it makes is like you are chatting with AI aliens in a wormhole. I mean, it's a... incredible. The min, max and hold features. Well, you use the hold to freeze the measurements, press min, max to record the highest and the lowest values to cancel hold for two seconds. Just remember, don't change the range while you are um, using these functions because in the, the accuracy drops. The voltage measurements. Now we have the AC and DC voltage ranges from 200 millivolts up to 600 volts. And don't forget to use one hand while you're measuring AC for your safety. Now for the current measurements, it measures both AC and DC current down to 200 microamps, which is useful for tracking any leakage currents. The one half volts and nine volt battery test modes apply a load during measurement for more realistic readings. Here, you have to pay attention that for the one and a half volt battery uh, test, you, you should use the milliamps or the microamps, and for the nine volt battery, you should use the, um, the voltage and the resistance, uh, the, the, the red terminal. And of course, we have the resistance, continuity, and the diode test. This multimeter is available at TMA.eu where you'll find also hundreds of thousands of high quality products from brands like the Fluke or uh, Amprobe. And the best part is that more than 96% of the orders are fulfilled at the same day. So what I like about the Amprobe 30XRA is the attention to detail. We have the yellow terminals, the locking stand mechanism, the magnet grip, just useful stuff. It is built for professionals with no unnecessary features, just the ones that matter and they are all well executed.